I'm Rob from Hopsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of Eink, excuse my pronunciation, Oak Smoked Doppelbock from Schleinkler in Germany. 8% ABV. This was very kindly sent to me from one of my subscribers, Jens, King of the Beer Mail. Uh, I think I bought a bottle of this a couple of Christmases back to do a review of it. And I think I just took it to a party or something and drank it. So, because it's always one of those beers that I think um, definitely deserves it. I, I think I first had it, it might have been on draft at, um, at the foreign bar at the National Winter Ales Festival, which I've ju judged it a couple of times when it was in Manchester. Yeah, I guess the um, Schlenkel is straightforward. I think that, is it Martin? Um, or the, oh, I can't remember what the other one is. Um, that was a beer that I used to buy just to share around at one point, just because they were like, this is weird, this is super weird. I mean, have you ever tasted the beer that tastes so much like kind of smoked fish or kind of smoked sausage? So, oh, probably poured a little bit too much. Yeah, I'm going to recap these and I'm off to um, a bit of a family gathering, so I'm going to take these with me. So, beer in the glass, a lovely kind of radiant amber kind of colour. I've got this relatively cool, as I mean I think German beers deserve to be served quite cool. Not generating much head at all obviously. It kind of looks like set, sh set sugar, no head at all. So let's check out the aroma. Oh mama! That is, yeah it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's smoke and oak. Oh man! It's got a lovely sweetness to that oak. That, I, mean, I guess that oak's bringing a lovely sweetness to the beer. Along with that real heavy smoke. Which, I mean, it's like it's like anything that's being smoked. Kippers, kind of like a, a smoked kind of German hams. Some smoked uh, to a point, I guess you get, and because you're getting a slightly kind of salty, mineral character. Reminds you of something like smoked salmon. But really big. Sweet, but slightly earthy at the same time. Smoke, and that's primarily what you gain. Oak and smoke. Yeah, I mean, it does exactly as it should. So let's dive in. Cheers, cheers, Jens. Oh, lovely. Mm, such a lovely measured beer. It, um, it really kind of unfolds. Unlike the nose, the um, the the flavour is much more kind of complex and a lot more, and it just unravels really nicely. The smoke really comes at the back end and lingers. Let's go back for another mouthful. I'm getting kind of like a sweetness at the start, like like you'd expect from a dop, um, a more of like a, a, a pale doppelbock, not a dark doppelbock. More like maybe more. Is this more like Heller's Bock? I don't know. But it's those kind of sweeter malt character, like um, um, like an apricot tart or something like that. Yeah, kind of lagery to a point. Sweeter, warming, slightly warming alcohol there. Then it starts kind of opening up. You get this kind of bready character, like a rye bread, yeah, like an apple sweetness, and then a. Kind of sweet and ginger. And smokiness is kind of in and out. I get a certain kind of cavassier kind of character in there. The kind of spirity. But obviously not the alcohol. Yeah, it's like bready, sweet bread. Then the oak comes, the oak, the sweet, kind of slightly vanilla -y oak. And then that smoke starts kind of wafting in. It's like a, it's, it's like a fresh, um, it's a, definitely like a, a fresh smoke character. And obviously oak, and it, it does have that kind of burning oak um, flavour to it. The, the characteristic that will be kicked out by burning fresh oak, so it's just been chopped down and stripped off. And then, boof, in the fire. And it's, it's those initial kind of licks of aroma that are emanating from that, um, that burning wood. 
I mean, you can still get a bit of sap, but you can still get a kind of a freshness of the oak uh, in, within the smoke. Plus, I think their regular beer, which is a lot more along those kind of smoked salmon roots. Saying that, I do think there is a, that, a kind of like a salty mineral character that runs through. It reminds me of eating really lovely fresh fish. Yeah, lovely. Lovely kip I picked up on the kind of like um, Northumbria coast. I forget, I forgot what that place is called. I've been. Rick Stein loves it. But yeah, anyway, get back to the beer. There's a nice sweetness to it, which is, comes in a slightly molasses note, just very slight, which brings a kind of a roast right at the back end. The aftertaste, once again, I'm, I'm going to say that kind of sweeter, kind of stewed peach pie because it's got that kind of biscuity bready kind of character and then more of that smoked oak lovely i do like a smoked beer once in a while and this is one of the better ones i mean and as far as schlenkler schlenkler's beers go excuse me jens if i'm butchering the name of this beer i'm doing my best <laughs> mm. very drinkable for its abv as well I think, um, yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to turn this down to a bit of a family gathering. Might might try a couple of people with a, a little little pour of it. See if see if they, see if they like. I think people who are massively into beer could potentially get on board with this because it's got a kind of it's got a link to food, I guess, with that smoked salmon and stuff and smoked meats. Mm. Lovely stuff. Anyway, I could talk about this all day, but I'm not going to. It's a bottle of Schlenkler's Eink. That's probably a long... I, I did German at, at high school. Just didn't do very well in it. Uh, it was the Doppelbock Oak Smoked. Um, lovely stuff. 8% ABV. Best of the batch, if you ask me. I'd love to hear what you want to... You think about this, uh, Jens. Especially whatever, as far as the first Schlenkler's beers go, where does this kind of rate up for you? Because for me, it's right up there. Qu highest quality smoked beer. Lovely. I like, uh, I think smoke beer works really nice when it's a dark malt, but I think that's a perfect example of how you can blend really uh, kind of obtuse fl flavours that you shouldn't fit together, and it just does really nicely. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.